Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 14.1 coordination and response. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 14.1 you need to understand the role of the nervous system, identify the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system and the different types of nerve cells and describe a simple reflex arc. For extended you also need to describe the structure and function of a synapse. The role of the nervous system is to coordinate the various organs and systems of the body so that the organism as a whole can function correctly. It's a communications network whereby signals in the form of electrical impulses are sent along nerve cells called neurons. Receptor cells in the sense organs detect stimuli in both the internal and external environment. They send electrical impulses to the central nervous system which consists of the brain and spinal cord. The central nervous system processes the information and then sends impulses to the muscles and glands, known as effectors, which respond accordingly. In this way, the human nervous system plays an essential role in regulating and coordinating a host of bodily functions. For example, when we begin to exercise, rate of respiration in the muscles goes up and carbon dioxide accumulates in the cells and blood. This is detected and impulses are sent to the brain, which stimulates the heart and breathing muscles to contract more rapidly and forcefully. As a result, both heart rate and breathing rate increase, supplying the additional oxygen and glucose needed by the muscles. So as I've already mentioned, the central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. These structures are known as coordinators as they receive and process information from receptors around the body. The peripheral nervous system consists of the nerves outside of the central nervous system that connect the brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body. There are three different types of neurons that you need to know about. Sensory neurons carry impulses from the sense organs to the central nervous system and motor neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to effectors. Relay neurons are found inside the central nervous system and connect sensory and motor neurons. Each neuron has a cell body containing a nucleus, fibers called dendrites that branch outwards to make contact with other neurons, and a long nerve fiber called an axon. Sensory neurons are distinguishable from motor neurons as the cell body is located in the middle of the axon. Relay neurons are much shorter as their only role is to connect the other neurons together. Junctions between neurons where the impulse is passed from one neuron to another are called synapses. Next, you need to understand the term reflex action. So a reflex action can be defined as a means of automatically and rapidly integrating and coordinating stimuli with the responses of effectors. In other words, it's an extremely quick response to a change in the environment that doesn't involve conscious thought. Examples include coughing or sneezing due to irritant particles in the nasal passages or blinking automatically when something comes into contact with the eye. Reflex actions are important as they help organisms to quickly adapt to an adverse circumstance that might otherwise result in harm. A reflex occurs via a neural pathway in the nervous system called a reflex arc. The process begins with a stimulus, which in this case is a rapid change in temperature. Receptor cells in the skin detect the stimulus and convert it into an electrical impulse, which is transmitted by a sensory neuron to the spinal cord. The sensory neuron passes it on to a relay neuron, which in turn passes it on to a motor neuron. The motor neuron then carries the impulse to an effector, which in this case is a muscle in the arm. The impulse causes the muscle to contract and the hand to be pulled away from the fire. By bypassing the brain, in this way, the response of the effector to the stimulus is both automatic and almost immediate. Okay, so that's everything for core, so we'll move on now to a very short extended section. So synapses are the junctions between neurons. Electrical impulses are passed across synapses from one neuron to another in one direction only. When an impulse arrives at the synapse, membrane-bound structures called vesicles release chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitter molecules diffuse across the synaptic gap from the presynaptic neuron and then bind with receptor proteins on the other side. This stimulates a new impulse in the postsynaptic neuron which carries the message onwards to the next part of the system. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 14.1 coordination and response. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 14.2 sense organs.